let's talk about Batwoman Season 2, Episode 8, titled Survived Much Worse. Because, you know, it, it, it was an interesting episode, to say the least. Because there were things I liked, things I didn't like. Of course, I mean, nothing's perfect here. But one one of the things I did really like about this episode was that we get to see the parallels between Ryan Wilder and Alice. Because they're two separate people on opposite sides but they're both connected by Kate Kane and while Ryan is completely inspired by Kate and her version of Batwoman Alice only feels vengeance and the desire to kill her sister and that's really one of the main parts of this episode is just seeing these two parallel each other and see how similar they really are but still on the opposite sides of what's going on here and uh, because this is a CW show, of course, we do get lots and lots of filler. So we're going to focus on talking about mainly the stuff that went down in the second half of the episode. But just for a quick summary, basically, everybody ended up on Coriana. Sophie's there. Jacob's there. Alice is, of course, there. And Ryan showed up as Batwin. And, you know, we're not going to talk about Jacob and Sophie too much. Like, they, they had some cool stuff, but nothing huge. But Batwoman, of course, she gets captured, and this is where we get her final first confrontation with Sophia, because Sophia is like the big main villain of this season, and the protagonist and antagonist are just now finally meeting for the first time. And she, you know, of course, Batwoman's going to get punished, and she's going to go put in, get put in a cell and in the dungeon and everything, but Sophia decides to put Alice in there with her, because just before this is when Sophia found out the truth about how this dead body of Ocean that Alice brought is not actually Ocean, and Ocean is still out there, still alive somewhere. So, she's mad at both of them, and she puts them in a cell together, and... You know, I think this was actually a good idea because, you know, you really get this cool conversation between these two because, uh, you know, they, they get to talk things out and they really needed to. And Batwoman realizes that Alice doesn't really want to kill Kate, like, at all. She just wants her sister back. And, you know, you kind of had a feeling that was the way things were going here. And because even though Batwoman is close to death here with the kryptonite wound she's still alert and she heard alice during their last fight and Bowman knows that alice is as much a victim as ryan's mother was so this was a pretty crazy realization here and i, I really like this because you know the things uh, Bowman, like i said she is basically dying and she gets a choice here because she came to Coriana for two different things. She came for the Desert Rose to cure herself, and then she came for Kate Kane. But then she has to make a decision to choose between one of those two. And of course, she chooses the Desert Rose. But she also wants to save Kate. But she chooses the Rose because, again, she realizes that, you know, Alice will save Kate because she just wants her sister back. She does not want to kill her really even though she keeps saying it so uh, they get what they want and everything uh well things are supposedly going good and going as planned here until Sophia reveals that she has found the real ocean who ran off at the end of last episode and now she wants alice to kill him and like for real this time and ocean makes a pretty compelling argument right here about how like the best punishment for Kate is leaving her to rot on Coriana and like sounds like a good idea and everything but her motives have changed now and her sister is always going to be her priority so to get Kate back she is ready to sacrifice Ocean and yeah so that's what she does she sacrifices Ocean, she stabs him, and then she's all like, all right, give me back my sister. But then she's in for a shock when Sophia turns out she lied to her, surprise, surprise, turns out she doesn't have Kate, and she never did. And Sophia was just, she was just playing the long game to get what she wanted, which was to tear Ocean and Alice apart forever. And that is exactly what happened here. And yeah, so then Sophia's guards attempt to eject her from the island, and, you know, stuff goes on there, and, yeah, we, we get some more uh, updates on this later as well, 
Uh, but meanwhile, back in Gotham City, Luke and Mary, they have some, they, they fight one of Sophia's minions and it's cool and everything. Julia comes back, who I, I didn't even realize was gone for so long. I, I'm i glad she's back, though. And she basically reveals that, um, you know, Kate Kane did die in that plane crash uh, because her her body wasn't recovered, but they found body parts scattered in the river that matched her DNA. Uh, so nobody's going to be seeing Kate Kane ever again. But interestingly, Sophia is not the one that brought down Kate's plane. She only used Kate's crash to get back at Alice and Ocean. She just used that to her advantage. Because then then Sophia isn't done yet. Because the blade that Alice used to kill Sophia, Ocean was laced with Dezer, Dezer Rose. So she pulls it out of him, turns out he's alive, and now he's loyal to her again. But on the other hand, Tatiana doesn't fare as well because she hated Alice and Sophia's love. And so she made Alice believe that Sophia had killed Kate and all that stuff. So it was all Tatiana's f uh, fault. So then Sophia stabs her with the same knife and plans to leave it in there for now. So, yep, Sophia, Sophia be crazy. Uh, but Alice does get her revenge, though, in a pretty awesome scene here where she sets fire to the Desert Rose Guard, very similar to... Eric Killmonger in the Black Panther movie with the, uh, you know, purple hearts, whatever the things were called. Um, so Sophia is left with basically nothing here. And um, really, that's the thing that Ryan needed to survive. So it looks like we're going to be having two, bat two dead Batwoman here. Uh, but then back in Gotham, we have a surprising discovery as we find out that that plant that Ryan has had this whole time is actually a desert rose somehow. So that's interesting. And, you know, turns out that now if they if they can somehow get Ryan back to Gotham City in time, then they can save her. And, you know, that's that. And then we do get our final scene here, which was a pretty interesting one, because we see in an underground tunnel somewhere in Gotham, a person lies asleep with a mask over their face and they've got like burns and their skin is all messed up. And this person is around their neck is wearing the red stone necklace that Kate used to wear. And this is Kate Kane. Kate Kane is really alive. I mean, Julia said they found her body parts. So I don't know if maybe she's missing like a hand or a leg or something like that or an ear, you know maybe it looks like she was missing her hair but yeah this is Kate Kane we just got the news yesterday that uh they recast the role of Kate Kane Wallace Day is going to be taking on the role I made a whole video about that so yeah definitely interesting to see that we're getting Kate Kane back but Ryan is still the main Batwoman so I'm interested to see where this goes from here now uh but guys of course let me know your thoughts on this episode down in the comments below your thoughts on that cliffhanger of Kate finally being back and all that good stuff so thanks so much for watching please drop like if you enjoyed this video and hit the subscribe button so I can keep you up to date on everything goes on